Good day, wine hunters. Today, we're going to talk about Rutherglen. Rutherglen is one of Australia's oldest wine regions. Now, today, Rutherglen is best known for Durif, a big, bold red, and also fortified wines. But let us tell you, the region has so, so much more to offer. And in addition, it's got to be one of Australia's friendliest wine regions. So if you haven't visited Rutherglen yet, you really are missing a cool wine trick. So go check it out. And when you do go to visit, here are our favorite wineries. Number one, Campbell's Wines. You know, with its history tracing all the way back to the 1800s, Campbell's really is one of Australia's founding wineries. And with all those decades of experience, today Campbell's boasts one of the widest and best range of wines in Australia. They've got all the staples, Shiraz, Durif, Cab Sav, Riesling, Chardonnay, etc. But they've also got a pretty extensive range of lesser known varietals like Fiano, Trebbiano. They've got some Portuguese varietals in there. It's really incredible and really incredible that all these wines are so darn good. And best of all, in all those years, Campbell's never lost sight of what comes first, the customer. These wines are all offered at fair or better than fair prices, and that's just wonderful to see. So check out Campbell's. Number two, Chambers Rosewood. Chambers Rosewood is one of the top two fortified wine producers in all of Australia. The flavors that Chambers cooks of as fortified wines are absolutely ethereal out of this world. You know, we've been saying for some time that Fortify wines, at their best, can access a range of flavors that table wines simply cannot. And if you go to visit Chambers Rosewood, you're going to find out exactly what we mean in the most glorious of ways. Number three, Warabilla wines. You know, Warabilla is probably the most unique winery in Rutherglen, and certainly it's the most stylistic winemaking. We're talking about big, and we mean really big, bold, juicy, delicious wines. Such a refreshing change from all the nondescript schlock that you find littered across the shelves of most of the major you know, wine retailers. Warabilla, as I say, makes very fruit expressive wines. If you've ever wanted to know what you know, Shiraz or Grenache or Durif or a host of others are, are meant to taste like based on the fruit variety alone, Warabilla is the place to go and find that out. Number four, John Garrig wines. You know, we just love John Garrig wines. We love everything about it. The people are so nice and welcoming and unpretentious. There's such a good vibe to the place and the wines are so damn good. In a region that's mostly known for big, bold wines, John Garrig really also adds and nails the element of balance. These are well-made, exquisite wines, Shiraz, Durif, and we most especially love what they're doing with their Cab Sav and Cab Sav blends. Yum, yum, yum. And then finally, Morris Wines. Morris Wines is the most famous fortified producer uh, in all of Australia. And really, there's no way to explain what they've done with their muscats. You have to try it to believe it. The, the flavor profile is exquisite. It's like a rainbow in your mouth is extraordinary. And in addition to fortifieds, Chambers also produces a range of table wines, like this cool uh, Blue Imperial, also known as Senso right here. And that's a, you know, a variety and a style that we'd like to see more of in Australia today. But really, as far as Morse goes, in a nutshell, you cannot say that you know Australian fortified wines if you have not visited Morris. So go check them out. And then finally, when you do go to Rutherglen, probably you're gonna make a weekend of it. And so if you're looking for a few more stops, we can also highly recommend Anderson Winery, All Saints Estate, and Scion Winery. Three more great wineries, well worth your time to check out. And that is all we have for you today. Uh, hope you've enjoyed this and we will see you next time.